look who's growling at me up there. He won't move, he's in the corner. I can't see him, but I'm gonna take a pole up and should be able to chase him out. Doesn't he know it's my vacation? And I shouldn't be doing this on my vacation? He obviously doesn't know whose house he's broken into. I'm gonna get this little bugger out. It's six o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday. And uh, my daughter just woke me up to say we have a raccoon in her attic. Believe that. I'm gonna go up and see if we can't chase him out. Okay, up in my attic. Find our way over to where we know he is. Hey! Hey! Uh oh. Looks like he might have walked away. I see a trail. Trail goes along there and all the way down around there. I have to go see if he's there. I still can't believe it. A raccoon moved into my house on my vacation. But as you saw, we got one out. And just on the off chance that there are more inside, and it is likely, they usually come in, in twos or threes or fives. But if we look up, I've installed a one-way door. So any other animals that are in there tonight will come out. The door will close behind them. They'll be locked out. We'll remove the door and we'll permanently screen it so uh, nothing else gets back in there. I probably should have screened this years ago because prevention is very important when you're um, trying to keep animals out of a house. And I failed to close one of the most common points of entry that animals, uh, especially raccoons, break into. But uh, it's progressing and we'll get them out and job will be complete tonight.